Yeah, um, team's doing really well. Um, kids have responded pretty well. Just mostly base install for offense and defense. Spring ball in this first half of camp now. Um, this week, actually, it's kind of when it's all right. We've got to hit that second gear now. So we started with some special team stuff. So we phased the specials over the rest of July. Uh, start to phase some situational, specific stuff. Two-minute drill, four-minute offense, um, end-of-half kind of situation, stuff like that. So we got to break down individual skills, break down the overall concept of the play, teach that, teach a bunch, I guess, a bunch of different looks, make our adjustments, and go from there. Class one, having an older team, how much does that help you going through the season? Because these are guys who understand the system, understand what's expected. Yeah, right? I, we have some experience in some some big important positions for sure. Uh, we'll be young in some other areas. Like I said, I think the team from the starting lineup to just the overall roster split, it's about 50-50 in terms of seniors and, and member classmen. What happened last year? Last year you win the opener and then drop four in a row, kind of make it back up in league play, but. Yeah, so we had a really tough schedule, and that we knew it was going to be tough going into it. We had a couple close losses, and uh, one of our best players got hurt in the middle of the game, and uh, we, we missed him tremendously. He came back in league, and he made a huge um, impact in those games he played in league, went you know, unanimous first team all league both ways. Um, so definitely missing him, and then like I said, just having having a few close losses in games where uh, one play goes differently. We're a, a four and one football team. Uh, versus one and four going into league play, but you know did much better in league. Uh, definitely have a ton of room to improve on things that we did in league last year, and I'm excited for this year.